Hey, how's it going, champ? It's Army Fire. Are you a natural born winner? You just win at everything that you try at, like school, sports, life, relationships, just anything you put your mind to. Yeah, me neither. But you know what? If there's one thing I know how to win at, it's a game of Fortnite. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it so that you can also do it as well. Alright, so the first step to winning a game of Fortnite is that you gotta use my support and curator code. It's Omnipi. You put that in there, your chances of winning just doubles, triples, no, core triples. First off, in most of your games, you want to jump out of the bus as soon as you can and go to the closest place. Can't really win any games, not to, not alone every game. So unless I'm getting like some specific clips from my videos, bus starts at the southwest side of the map, then uh, this is a good place to go. And the best place to land in Paradise Palms is going to be the huge building at the west side because it's really annoying when other people go there and they get a sniper and then you're just like looting on the ground and they shoot you from there. It's really hard to do anything against that. Normally I like to land at the top if there's like a weapon plus chest because then I can just go down and clear everything. But in this case I couldn't do it because someone else was going to get the weapon on the roof before me. And you gotta look out for these things when you're landing in a populated place. So here since someone's already going for the weapon I'm just going to go down to the next floor below that. Now we go and loot around a little and we got our first fight and this guy makes a huge mistake here. For some reason he decides to stay where he is this with a shotgun what he should have done is just run straight at me with the shotgun because he barely did any damage from that range and I have a submachine gun so I have a huge advantage now since I don't have a shotgun I'm not gonna race to the top and try and fight the other guy usually I would if I had a shotgun but for now since I'm below them I can just go down and loot everything so if they go down with me they don't get any loot because I looted all of that so I'm pretty safe I can just hear them coming and then fight them if they are and here, I'm just gonna take this fight, even though he does have the better position, but I really need his shotgun. But then the other guy from the top actually came down after me. So instead of fighting this, I just build away. I build both of them off because, you know, 1v2 is not a smart idea. And that, that's why I was breaking all the furniture. So now I have materials to actually build and get out of this. And right here, I noticed a jug jug actually fell down. So the other guy is definitely going to want that because I'm pretty sure he had like no healing or anything at all. Because all, he's been, all he did was loot the top roof. He actually jumped down without no, me noticing. But it's okay, I'm just gonna go after him because I'm, I really need that jug. Plus, I'm in a really good position here. He's on the left side, so he doesn't have the right side peak advantage. You know how your crosshair is on the right side? So you go and engage someone while looking to the right, then you're pretty much gonna win every time if you're both like equally skilled. So always take those fights. It was really bad for him to go to the left side. He should've went to the right side. And also the reason I knew he went to the left instead of like the right side was because I heard it. I heard the sound mostly from my left ear when I was looking uh, straight forward. And so if he went to the right side, you would you would hear it from like the a little bit from the left and a tiny bit from the right as well. So it'd be kind of equal. They'd be like in front of you more. But since I only heard it from my left, then I can basically 100% guarantee that he went straight to the left side. So go ahead and listen to it with headphones if you don't have it. Yeah, you should notice that it was very loud on the left earphone. So again, like I said earlier, if you want to win a lot of games, you gotta look for fights so you can get better. So I hear the gunshots coming from the west side, I mean east side, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go over there. And when you're engaging someone and there's a lot of structures around, you always want to build up to the highest place. So I get high up here and then I spot him because of the sound he makes, so I get ready to shoot him and he surprisingly jumps out right at me. And right here, since I'm the one on top, I'm just gonna go ahead after the shotgun shot, take out my submachine gun to keep shooting him because uh, since I got higher ground, I have better position to shoot his head, get a lot more damage in, while he's doing the right thing and just building away. Now he boxes himself in right here. You could try to shoot from above, but it's not that good because most people can just build a pyramid and a roof to stop it. So what I like to do is just fall down to the side really quickly like you notice that I don't even really hesitate. I just do it as fast as I can because this catches people off guard a lot. So then you go ahead and break the wall and then you just replace it. And in this situation, most people would just 
like get shot they they wouldn't do anything else but this guy is actually pretty good he makes a ramp inside it so now of course i gotta do it again i gotta break it and then make my own ramp but he runs away so of course i chase him and i make sure to try to have high ground so i build ramps upwards uh until i can find him and again we just repeat it but this time, I remember that he actually knows how to run really well. So there's no point breaking the ramp anymore. He's just gonna edit out another way anyways. So instead, I build a ramp and then I go to the rooftop to try and catch him wherever he may go. And surprisingly, he just runs straight at me. So here we go, we get into another fight and uh, I get the kill. So the biggest lesson from that fight was you got when you're in like a kind of long fight, make sure your first instinct is to climb upwards and follow the enemy from above. And if they box themselves in, then jump to a side really quickly to like catch them off guard. And also like kind of take mental notes of what they do, like their habits. You know, most people don't have like plan A, plan B, plan C. They just kind of do things based on like muscle memory and instinct. So there you go. We got three kills. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this rift here and fly up. But And I'm still just going to look for fights because again, this is how you get a lot of wins. You have to first get good at the game and that just means looking for fights because if you camp most of the time you're gonna spend what like 20 minutes doing nothing and then when you have to fight the top guy you just lose because you, you haven't done anything like all game and if, if most of your games like that you're never gonna get good now I noticed that the there was actually no one in the plane so the guy must have actually dropped out before this so I look more to the left and then uh, I built because he was kind of hiding or something. He was behind a tree. I just couldn't see him, so I built. You know, if you don't see the enemy, just build. In a mid-game fight, you always just want to go to the top. That's why I noticed these days. People are, like, super good now. They they always go up. You, if you start shooting them, they're going to build up and then up, and you're just going to be screwed from low ground. So just start off the fight, most fights, just building. But you don't want to be dumb with it, okay? Well, like, I know a lot of people, they'll build, like, five floors up for no reason. I'm just going to build three floors up, and I notice that he's still below me, so I take out my shotgun and then peek out to shoot him right Right away and this puts me in a super good position because now he's like 56 damage down I just gotta shoot him a couple more times and I win so now I start going aggressive take out the SMG and hit him and then just completely chase him all you gotta do in these situations again like earlier just drop down hit down the wall replace it and then edit the wall and then just shotgun them now since I'm in the storm I'm in a pretty good position so what I like to do in these cases is just go to like the highest place that, that I can nearby and then just kind of look around because then no one can really flank you if you're at the highest place looking around unless of course they come from this guy like this guy and again like always I make sure to climb up above them but not too high and then when I see them I start chasing them but they take the fight from a left angle notice how I'm on the right angle so I can pop out with my crosshair before e them even seeing me and then just get an easy shot off so I continue and of course you know we're in the middle of a fight I'm gonna build a ramp so here it is he he notices too late he tries to climb up too but I'm already there I got my shotgun out and boom just right in his face so I'm just jumping around here. I turn around. I see this guy with balloons popping out. So I get so scared. I build a wall right away. I'm like, whoa, what the heck just happened? So I notice he's got balloons and I start shooting him. But I'm like, wait a minute. I should just shoot the balloons. So shoot the balloons. He drops down, takes some damage and start shooting him. He jump pads away. So I'm just going to run over there, get on the jump pad, and then boom, there he is. He's above me, so now it gets a little bit tricky. So of course, make sure you always have a roof above you when the enemy gets above you right away. And then you, you can try to do double ramp above and below you, and then get above them. In this case, <laughs> it works. But he starts throwing dynamite, and you don't really have to worry about dynamite because they don't stick. They just kind of fall down. So when I heard it, I just turned around, and then I kept building upwards towards him because even if my structures fall down i can always go above his structure and land on his structure and be okay but then fall down because i didn't expect the ramps to uh, explode like that that was pretty interesting so again double ramp up just that's what i always do when i i'm low basically just double ramp up and then now i follow him and this this actually looks like really good on my part because how did how the heck did i know exactly where he was you know with all these structures but Again, it was through sound, and I'm going to show you exactly...
So that was the clip and from this point on, you should pretty much know exactly where he is or at least somewhat close. So he's at the bottom boxed in. See when I was running right here, you can hear on the left earphone that he's running below me basically. And then when I run up a little more, he starts building. So he basically just stopped in his tracks and built on the ground and boxed himself in. And then after I get to this point, he stops making any sounds. So I know he, j he didn't really move anywhere. Either that or he just ran away in that direction. So I could have just kept going straight and looked for him. But because of those sounds, I go ahead and jump straight to this box because I'm pretty sure he's gonna be here. So again, go up right away, and this guy, he doesn't he doesn't follow the rule of going up. But lucky for him, I get snipes from somewhere else. I'm just gonna I actually kind of have to box myself in here so I can actually heal up. So now all I can really do is just kind of wait until something happens. Now the other guy is actually really gutsy, and he went for me. I think he just used like a grappler hook, so he's above me now. And again, you know, you don't want to take the fight from below. So I, build, I make sure to build the roof right away, cut him off. And then I notice he's just kind of standing there, so I try to edit him in because this would surprise him. He's not gonna be ready to shoot me, so then I might get an easy shot off. But then he built a ramp, and here we go. He actually breaks through the roof. So now I'm gonna try it again, but it didn't work. But he's still surprised. He didn't. He didn't notice that I actually did this. So I go ahead and just jump up, hit him real quick. This element is fine. So now i'm just gonna go ahead and finish him off with the submachine gun because i get so many shots on him and that's actually another really good example of what to do when you're like below the enemy because a lot of times you can just block them off and then it's kind of be hard to hit you what you can do is try to surprise them by like doing a quick edit and then shoot through it because then the enemy doesn't know they it's like oh, 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 i got high ground you can't do anything now and that's pretty much why I make these types of videos because it, I can tell you tips that are general but in real fights you have to be like quick with it. You have to make up plans on the spot to, to outplay the enemy, surprise them, you know? It's really quick here so I'm gonna show it to you in slow motion and then explain it. All right, so right there, if you didn't notice, I I aimed where he was because that's like easier because there's a target. But then I didn't like shoot right away. Right away, I move it to where he's gonna land because he's hopping right now and he's just hopping straight forward. So if you have enough experience, you can pretty much get know exactly where they're gonna land and then position your crosshair at the head and then shoot it so that when they land the bullet goes in their head just like that there's no really secret trick to it you just kind of have to predict where they're gonna move and then aim there the more you do it the better you get at it and now we have the final boss you gotta prepare yourself gotta go ahead and drink up your shield potions your minis and then just don't panic all right just move forward and look at that, he's right there. Oh, we gotta land on this house. And it's gonna be an intense fight. Let's go. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> the only thing I can really say is that I noticed that I had a jump pad. So I use it to go to the highest place in the new circle, which is gonna be this house. Jumping here gives me a huge advantage because if the other guy wants to you know go into the next circle he's gonna have to pass here and i'm gonna be able to see him like 100 percent and i do here and get some free shots up all right make sure you like and subscribe also don't forget to use code omnipi to increase your win rate thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video